welcome. Thank you very much for joining this webinar today to learn more about building the business case for Microsoft Project Online. This session will provide you with an overview of some of the tangible benefits you can realize through an implementation of this solution. Because let's face it, that's what you need within a business case because simply stating it'll make me or my team happier doesn't always cut it. You need to state measurable benefits that will ultimately help you to save money whilst getting more done. This session does coincide with the launch of our corresponding ebook, which is now available on our website at wellington.co.uk. However, please do stay tuned as I've got some amazing transitions planned in between the slides, something that you do not want to miss. And uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, was the curtain transition. And we're going to go straight in to a vortex transition. And I'm going to get serious now uh, and get into the presentation. So just before delving into the topic for today, a bit about Wellington. We started way back in 2001 as a pure project management consulting firm based in Windsor. Today, we have offices in the UK, Ireland and Spain. And we offer a wide variety of services that span consultancy, training and technology with a focus primarily on project and work management. We are a Microsoft Gold certified PPM partner. We're also an APM accredited training provider, an accredited P3M3 assessor and an approved G Cloud supplier. We also run and compile the annual State of Project Management report and we deliver the annual Future PMO conference as well. Further details on what we do and upcoming events available at wellington.co.uk. So over the years, we have managed to work with quite an eclectic mix of clients and there are now quite a few case studies available on the Wellington website. So please do go and check it out by following the link displayed. I should point out that most of the case studies do outline the tangible benefits that organizations have realized since implementing Project Online. So they're definitely worth checking out. So let's now take a step back and have a look at some of the industry analysis that highlights the situation that most organizations are facing when it comes to managing projects and resources. Within this section, you'll also learn a bit more about the solution itself, and I'll showcase some resources that highlight the benefits that Project Online can help deliver. We're going to start by looking at some of the findings from the most recent Wellington State of Project Management report, which is something that we publish each year. So we went out and asked a wide range of people whether or not they had access to real-time project KPIs, something that's actually quite important. And 54% of those respondents said that they did not. A third of those respondents also stated that they spend a day or more manually collating project reports. That's a lot of time copying and pasting. We also asked if they had access to collaborative solutions and 25% of respondents said again that they did not. Importantly, we also asked if they had access to a dedicated PPM or resource management solution. And again, only 23% of those that responded did, with a significant number of uh, people citing the likes of Excel as being the solution that they used for pretty much everything. That's for planning, for resource management, and everything in between. So with that kind of data, it's like we're back in the 80s, and here's Bill Gates, posing at his office back in 1984. God, that was a long, long time ago. And 1984, I have to say, was a pretty significant year for a number of reasons. It was when Ghostbusters was unleashed. We also met Gizmo whilst Kirk and the rest of the Enterprise crew began their search for Spock. And it was also the year that Microsoft Project first made an appearance. And that's why we're here today talking about this particular topic. Just before I move on to the next slide, uh, I've got to say that that's also the year where I can recall watching He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, a cartoon that I absolutely loved. And anyways, happy days, but I should really move on rather than reminisce about my childhood. So let's get back on topic now. So, as I mentioned, Project Desktop was first unveiled back in 1984. Fast forward to the year 2000 and Microsoft then released the first enterprise variant referred to at the time as Project Central before being renamed to Project Server in 2003. That was the very first on-premise version and in 2013 to coincide really with the uh, advent of Office 365, Microsoft released the cloud alternative Project Online. 
Being in the cloud, it's provided as software as a service and Microsoft keep innovating and releasing complementary solutions, but you get access to now as part of a project licensing plans. So Project Online has definitely been around for a while with a sole aim really of addressing these types of business challenges. The need for a solution such as Project Online is pretty evident, especially for those of us that are going to be using it on a day-to-day -day basis. However, the challenge sometimes is getting the business case approved. Hence the need for this webinar and the brand new ebook, which is now again available on our website. So we want to arm you with the facts and point you in the direction of some other super useful resources such as the Gartner Peer Insights website, which you may have come across previously. So this platform contains ratings and reviews of enterprise technology solutions such as Project Online by end users, for end users, it's full of user reviews. And as it stands, Project Online has a rating of 4.4 stars out of five, and that's based on 93 reviews completed within the most recent 12 months. You can see that it features some in-depth reviews from end users with lots of options to filter by overall rating, company size, industry, and so on. So if you want, you can also go in and compare solutions against one another from a rating and end user satisfaction perspective as well. Overall, it's a great platform that provides lots of unbiased reviews and allows you to complete some due diligence, which we all know is very important to include within your business case. We've shared some quotes from the Got Appear Insights platform within the ebook, as well as a link to the platform itself. So do please go and check it out. Aside from the Garner resource, we also have the Forrester Total Economic Impact Report from 2018, which highlights some of the cost savings and business benefits enabled by Project Online. Overall, it features some great insights for you to include within your business case. The report, it's also again covered within our ebook, within which there's also a link to actually go and download the full 28 page report. Continuing on, let's look at some of the business benefits in greater detail for you to include within your business case. And there are quite a few at various levels. So we'll start at the strategic perspective. The solution provides greater visibility across the portfolio, which enables you to make the right decisions at the right times. It can also help you to ensure that the projects are strategically aligned, financially viable and feasible from a people and resource perspective, which is very important. And projects, they're really to help deliver benefits realization. Yet it's something that isn't always tracked after the project has been completed. So through Project Online, you can actually track benefits realization. Now, from the enterprise perspective, there are a variety of ways in which you can ensure increased consistency and governance in terms of project delivery, resource management processes, document management, and in other ways too. The next one for me is one of the biggest benefits and it's the automation of reporting whilst ensuring that the data is objective. This is a huge time saver and hopefully helps eliminate waterman reporting, which is where, you know, on the outside, the KPI looks green. But as soon as you slice in, you discover it's actually red. Hmm, that was a nice surprise or maybe not. There's also centralized visibility of incoming requests. Everything's captured in one place, making it a lot easier to ensure nothing is missed. And from the efficiency perspective, we can make everyone's life much easier by enabling them to collaborate in a joined up way. You can also see in real time who's working where, who has availability and who's drowning in work. And through all of this, you can then distribute the work and avoid bottlenecks. You also get access to a centralized repository for all of your raid logs and documentation and everything in between. And of course, there are other benefits too. And it's important that within your business case that they're targeted against your organizational pains. So do customize it. For those organizations that are already on the Microsoft 365 platform, there are further benefits here. Firstly, it allows your IT department to rationalize rather than having to deal with multiple vendors and varying licensing plans spread across multiple platforms. As a solution, Project Online can be added to your existing Microsoft Enterprise Agreement as well. So you essentially get the licenses at a discounted rate. And one thing that you should definitely do is check with your IT department as to whether or not you actually already have project licensing in place because it might transpire 
but you actually do, in which case this business case might not even be required. And as I said, within the Microsoft platform, there's really good integration of the likes of Teams, SharePoint, and Power BI. And as I said, within the Microsoft 365, you know that the data is going to be pretty secure and stable. And you can also switch on things like single sign-on. In fact, talking about the data security and stability, I'd highly recommend that you check out the Office 365 Trust Center portal, which contains some great information within it, such as information on where the data resides, as well as outlining all of the certifications that Microsoft have managed to achieve over the years to add, again, further to the credibility of this particular platform. So far, we've managed to cover some of the benefits. Let's now look at some of the other aspects of the business case. Now, this probably goes without saying, but you need to know your audience, some of whom will hopefully already be quite supportive. But as with all things in life, there are also going to be some people that need to be convinced. So it's quite important to preempt some of those objections and have your responses prepared. I'm going to keep this part quite brief as it's all contained within the ebook, as are all of the topics that I've covered so far. Now, within the ebook itself, we also provide some tips on presenting the business case itself. So in brief, you need to plan it out, think about the structure, who is in your audience, and then ensure you have it all covered. Please keep it brief. Ensure that your points are concise. No one wants to or has the time really to read a dissertation, especially when they have multiple business cases vying for their attention. This goes without saying, but if you're asking for money, you will need to cost it up. Factor in licensing, consulting, training, and any other ongoing support costs that need to be included. You also need to lobby in advance. We've already talked about this briefly, but speak to your colleagues at all levels. Understand their needs and start explaining to them the benefits of Project Online. Buy them donuts if you need to, but you need them on your side. I really can't stress that enough. And this one is really important, but you need to show real world impact. You need to cite statements from others that have already been through the journey and use the solution and started realizing benefits because this really strengthens your business case. And to help with this, do take a look at our case studies page on the website and check out the ebook within which we've compiled a variety of client statements from our published case studies. But that does really conclude this very short session. So I'm sure you've got questions. Please do use the Q&A panel to post them and I'll respond to them shortly. Alternatively, don't hesitate to get in touch using the details displayed. If you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, please do search for me. There's only one Baz Kinder on LinkedIn. You can also, if you want, scan that QR code using your um, LinkedIn app on either your iOS or Android device. Please do also check out the Wellington website and follow us on LinkedIn, where we regularly announce new events. Aside from that, please do also subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is where this webinar is going to be ending up. And we've already got lots of other videos on there that showcase a lot of the benefits of Project Online. But for now, once again, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out of your busy diaries to join this session. I do hope you found it useful. And again, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.